Oh, X Malone checking back in from that little commercial break that we just had, but we are live right here, Rise and Grind Morning Show, and I'm still with the beautiful Melissa Chambers. At I am Melissa Chambers. Follow her on Instagram, Please. you know what I mean? Right now, right now, we need them followers. <laughs> need them followers, you dig? Um, so before we left the break, we were talking about all the opportunities and all God's blessings that he's just been raining down on you. And we were just talking about how, you know what I mean, staying connected in your business, uh, 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 your business relationships can really make or break you uh, in a situation where you're trying to, you're trying to start anew. You know what I mean? You're really trying to build you. You're really trying to build your brand. Um, that's super dope. You went to school, CAU, we talked about all of that. But now I want to get more so into your new projects, things you're doing now. Because I know you got a couple movies on the way. I like, have a couple you, you, movies. You do a hard work. I have a couple movies on the way. Um, as I said earlier, back when I was acting full time, mm -hmm. you know, I did a lot of work. You know, I've worked with some really great people, you know, Mr. Perry. A lot of different musicians and things like that so I was really blessed and then I took a step back but because of the relationships that I built when I was acting full-time it's come back around again and people are now asking me to be a part of their projects and not just like we want you to make an appearance like we want lead. you to take the lead that we want you to put it on your shoulders and rock with it. You built for it though. This, I am. This is what you've been I'm, waiting for. I'm for tough. Okay, so you got, okay, so you already, are you working on two movies simultaneously or ha, is one already done? And so, um, I was working on two at the same time. Um, one just wrapped, which is I Thought You Knew. Um, I Thought You Knew was very important because I not only was the lead actress in this movie, but I also produced it. Oh, yeah. shoot, look at you. You know, got to get coins on the front end and the back end. See, I'm just I'm saying. It, pay, it pays <laughs> not to be a one-trick pony, man. You cannot be a one-trick pony in life and think you're going to succeed. So, so yeah. but, I mean, but I'll be very transparent. Okay. I thought you knew it was a labor of love. Like, this took years to, like, this is my thing, I believe. If they won't give it to me, I'll create it. That's super dope. So, I actually started off in this movie just in a actress role. But then, you know, because of relationships that I had and everything, I was brought on as a producer mm -hmm. and we were able to secure, you know, funding and things like that. Nice. But what's so great about I Thought You Knew is it's about AIDS, AIDS awareness, and the proceeds from the movie will go towards the Jerusalem House, which is a homeless shelter that caters to teens that have HIV and wow. AIDS. Um, so it's just not for you to watch. It's also to give back, to make you aware. Now we do, we do attack some major, major subjects. We attack, um, men on the down low. Right. I mean, it's real. It's uncomfortable, but it's real. That's true. Um, we attack relationships, domestic violence, mm -hmm. but we also celebrate black women and black men that are doing great things. So it's just not a beat me up type of movie. It's still some it's love. Re it's, it's real. Yeah, but it's still some love. It's man. real because there are a lot of African Americans that are doing great and wonderful things. But sometimes on television, all we see is ratchetness. True. Um, so we're here to give a good balance of both because you can't have one without the other because mm -hmm. everything isn't always going to be great and roses and peachy. Mm -hmm. But however, it's not all bad and and buffoonery either. <laughs> Great word. <laughs> buffoonery. <laughs> so it's true, true, true. Um, not, I don't mean to cut you off, no. but I, I think we actually have y'all have a trailer for that, right? Alright, so instead of just, you know what I mean, talking about it, that's the beauty of the Rise and Grind Morning Show. We're actually able to give you a little sneak peek behind the scenes, you know, what our guests are all about. So we done pulled up the clip, so we might as well drop it now. Here's I Thought You Knew, Melissa Chambers. <laughs> Gerald is not sleeping with Trish. And you oh know this how. how? I know this because even though Gerald and I may have our issues, we talk, but we do communicate with each other. Okay. 
And I asked him, and he told me that he was not sleeping oh. with her. What happens when your friendships and relationships begin to fall apart? And there's no one to trust. Nicole Dennison Alexander Productions presents I Thought You Knew. Coming to a theater near you. you know. Man. Did you see me drop and drop them bowls? Like, don't be fooled by the light skin now. I can throw them things. Yo, that, that, that was, that was pretty crazy. It, it's very crazy. And then did you see at the end when she wrote AIDS on the mirror? Like, what would you do if you walked into your bathroom and a chick you've been messing with writes AIDS across your mirror? I don't even really, like, want to... Ugh, I don't even want to think about it. Like, that's that's a scary, scary situation. But guess what? It's real. It's true. It's, it's, it's true. And we out here in the land of Atlanta where, you know what I mean, the AIDS rate is, is running rampant it's, and it's, it's running ridiculous. It's running rampant, especially with African-American women. Yeah, man. And it's, you got to take the time, man. You got to take the time. If you're going to do it, do it right. You know what I mean? Be protect, to protect yourself. Me, myself, shoot. Back in the day, I used to use two of them. Oh, shut up. I can't use sometimes. It's... Hey, I'm just being real. But the movie's dope. Where can they where they, where can they go and catch it? At? It it's actually set to be released. Okay. Um, we're in final editing right okay. now, so it's set to be released this summer. Ooh, so 2017. Yes. Ooh, but don't you have something else you working on I too? I have something. This girl working. She working. Man. She's working. She working. We only work. We only bring the real true entrepreneurs and hustlers on this show. The morning rise and grind. So I'm you got working. something else. I'm working. Okay. Um. So, I was blessed to be asked to be the lead in another... Back to back like Drake. Back to back. You got cute. Yeah. Back to back like Drake. Um, and it's called Beautiful Scars. Okay. Okay. So, what's Beautiful Scars? Is it, is it kind of like the same thing as I thought you knew? Or no. is Beautiful Scars... Beautiful you know? Scars is completely different. Okay. Okay. Um, it was written by Princess Hawthorne. Um, you can follow her on Instagram. And Beautiful Scars is about three couples. Okay. And it's about um, it's about their relationships and how friendship and loyalty can be tested. Mm. Truly mm. tested. Truly, mm. truly, truly tested. Um, and it tackles some very taboo issues that uh, happens behind closed doors. It tackle it. Oh, you said truly, truly, truly tested. Like, okay, can you divulge a little I bit into this I movie? I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. I can't, I want to, trust me. Like, even when I read the script, I'm like, what? You, you, what? You, you. Like, this happens to her? Like, this? Like, so it's really juicy. It's 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 juicy. It's what the people want. It blew my mind, and my mind doesn't get blown too often. But this, like, it is. It has so many turns and 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 twists and things like. You know what? Actually, to help me describe it a little bit better, especially ladies, I have a treat. I have. Um, remember when I said I had a surprise? Well. I have with me one of the other male leads. His name is Razzy Owen, but his character in the movie is Wu. And he here? He's here. Now understand, like when you say his name, you just can't say Wu. No, you gotta put a little gangster on it. Oh, and you know, get that, that lip going, Wu. So, a little eye candy too, ladies. So that's one thing I can say about the Outside of 
the women being beautiful and there are truly truly beautiful women okay. just not inside but outside like they're very appealing to the eye they are ladies these guys may not want to hear this right now but ladies these leading men oh my god all flavors all types of muscles and things and, and they take their shirts off too absolutely so and then you know sometimes they end up in their underwear ladies you need to check out this film but in the meantime i would like to bring um one of my co-stars on razzy odom and we'll tell you together a little bit more about um beautiful stars well i think i need to take a break because it just <laughs> she just down she just downloaded a whole lot to my to my brain right now so i at least need to take a video break or something to kind of process what she just told me I don't even think I think I'll be calling him his real name because I, I I can't call another grown man. Woo. No, I can't say it like that. Woo. I'll just be like, yo, my dog, <laughs> my dog, Woo, what's happening? But we're going to take this break and then we're going to bring him on. and We're going to figure out who Woo is, man. You know what I mean? You we're did gonna good. Talk, we're going to talk more about. Who um, Woo is. Yeah, who Woo is. We're going to talk more <laughs> about Beautiful Stars. Rise and Grind Morning Show Rise right here. Grind. Melissa Chambers. Live Hip Hop Daily. We'll Live be right Hip-Hop. back. All right. We're back. From that commercial break, and you see we have added some more chocolate <laughs> on the set. You feel me? Ooh. We are back. We are here. I'm a lucky yes. girl. In Melissa between. Chambers. So chocolate yeah, we, we here with Melissa Chambers. We done brought my man Woo. Woo. <laughs> on the set, man. You know what I mean? The Rise and Grind Morning Show. Woo. It's good, family. How you doing, it, man? How you doing, bro? Bless, brother, man. Appreciate you, man. Thank you for having me. The man, it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. Anybody that you know what I mean, say you a one from Melissa Chambers. You a one with me. Hey, you I feel me? So it's all good. That's, that's, that's a good co-sign right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we um actually talking about the movie that both of y'all are you know what I mean starring in. Beautiful scars. Beautiful scars, yeah. man. Can you go ahead and tell us a little bit about some? T- give us your perspective on. Ooh. I mean, I know you um, can't talk too much. Yeah, no, I, can't, I can't. I can't get too too crazy into it. But um, wow. Uh, it's gonna it's, it's, it's gonna tackle some issues. Um, it's gonna be some some mouth drops. It's gonna be some some sensitive moments. It's gonna be some <laughs> like did that just happen moment. Like it, it's it's crazy. Is it is it something that's gonna make you? You know what I mean? Kind of shed a tear. Is it something I need to watch I, by myself I, on my phone I, in my closet? I think my there's a moment where my character finds out information and her reaction I think is touching. Yeah, yeah. Um they gonna be some moments. I mean <laughs> yeah, listen, yeah, I, yeah, I just, yeah. And, you know and I'm just gonna keep it real. I mean it's gonna be some moments where you know on the on the female and a male perspective, I mean you're gonna you're gonna feel some kind of way. It's gonna be some emotions man. Man, well I can't I, I can't I mean. wait to see this movie. Yeah. I, I kinda like I, I like movies that tackle Subjects that nobody really wants to touch. That's oh. true. That's true. You know what I mean? Because that that that's that's that, it, it's it makes for better TV, man. When you when you're talking about the same old topics, yeah, everybody talking about you, like man, come on, same thing. No, it definitely isn't the no. same thing. Okay. But what's something special about about Raz is this is his first his first time behind. The big camera, what? which is very exciting. Salute, King. Salute, bro. I mean, you come on here. You come on here, and you you speaking like a professional, bro. You, you speaking like you the man around here. Yeah, I mean, you know, I think I think what it is, man. I, I've been around good people. Um, you know, Melissa's been a um, she's been a great factor into into what, what I have going on. I mean, she, she, she good coaches people. me a lot. You know, we 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 bump heads a lot. <laughs> I mean, it's crazy. You know what I'm saying? I mean, we, we bump heads a lot, but the one thing, the one thing that I will say about her for, for everything that she's coming into, she absolutely deserves it. Um, she has probably one of the best um, work ethic that I've seen um, so far, um, and it's something that I truly really admire about her. So I, I, I would definitely say, if nothing else, I mean, like I said, she gets on my nerves sometimes, but, but she's a go-getter. She, 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 she's a go-getter. She, she hustles hard and. Um, like you said earlier, you know she's she's about her coins and she's about her business. So, 
you know, I've been, I've been fortunate to be around good people, man. So, you know, I'm, I'm blessed, man. It's, it's, it's a good thing. And don't feel bad, bro. <laughs> she got on my nerves, too. But I love her, though. Like, she cool with me. Like, me and Mel, she 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 A1 with me. But no she, doubt. It's, it's, it's she, all love. We do more than bump heads. I, sometimes I be wanting to head butt her. Real sometimes. Talk. Yeah, you know what I mean? Wait, that's, what that's, is that's a this? That's a different How kind of Mel say, yeah, we love Mel. And then be like, but I want to bust her up some. Oh, it's, a, it's a brown skin, light skin thing. You know what I yeah. mean? We always yeah. attracted to light. Skins women, it is. We can't stand y'all in it. But anyway, yeah. Can 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 you tell where he's from by by his his, his accent? His physique? Nah, I ain't good with accent. I accents. said, oh. You <laughs> <laughs> That was for y'all, lady. I can't. I can't. Tell me, tell me where you're from and how you got started and things. Um, you know, originally um New York. Um, from there, South Carolina. From there. Women, what's what um, part of New York? You just I y'all mean? Of course, of course, it's Crown Heights. That's Brooklyn. Oh shit! <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> um, but from there, you know, to South Carolina. So I, I, I kind of consider myself to have like the best of both worlds. You True. know, I got, I got, a, I got a Northern, I got a South Carolina mix. So, you know, I, I love, I love how it, it all came together. But um, this is actually my first. This, this is actually my first movie. Like, like Melissa said, um, I got my start through her. You know, she she was one like yo, Raz, you know, you can do this, and I'm like, like nah, I ain't a camera dude. You know, I, I don't you was know, playing the hard role right here, and it wasn't even. It, it, it was funny. It was it wasn't even that. It's just that you know, sometimes you never kind of see yourself doing, doing something. Mm -hmm. But I think the blessing in it all is that you know, sometimes people can see things in you that you don't see in yourself. So very true. Man. So um, you know, I think the blessing in it that is that she saw it, and she was like, yo, Raz, come do your thing. So I was. All right, man, whatever. You know what I'm saying? So I went, um, and it was kind of like a love at first sight type thing. You know what I'm saying? Once I kind of stepped into the role and, and started doing my thing, it was like a hunger, a passion for it. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, the one thing I will tell people, you know, if, if you got a hunger and you got a passion for something, man, you know, go for it. Mm -hmm. man. Don't let nobody hold you back. You know, so whatever the circumstances may be, and and surround yourself with good people. That's another thing too. I heard Melissa talk about, Amen. you know, building relationships. Um, it's definitely about you know, what I'm saying building relationships, but it's about you know, what I'm saying building good relationships. Yeah, because you, know you can know a whole lot of people. You can have you can have a million followers on on Facebook and Instagram, but shoot, if you only really talked about two or three of them, or you can't call none of them to come get your get your butt off the side of the road, <laughs> shoot, you might as well shut your account down. You and, might as well shut it down. That push you push you to be push you to be better they yeah. don't allow you to be mediocre or they see something in you yep. and that they support you and they want you to win they, yeah, they yeah. they're your biggest cheerleaders yeah, yeah. Absolutely. you you gotta you, have that you need people around you that that want to push you outside of your box your man. Comfort you know zone. what i'm saying my, my dad always told me son you know just look at the five closest friends around you you see what i'm saying what they doing if they four arriving five arriving ass niggas you gonna be the good one it's real talk. you see what i'm saying right. so you gotta watch who you who you're around it and if you you sit around and you talk with millionaires you can always guarantee that the conversation will always be different absolutely, absolutely. you know what i mean so um you know something that i'm curious though that i've never asked even though we spend you know time together and we work on other projects okay. what was that feeling like that very first time when you had the barbershop scene and you got your very first time when they said action. What was that feeling in that moment? Um, you was in barbershop. The, the, the funny, the funny thing in the moment, man. That that first feeling, I felt like I belonged there. Okay. So you know, for me, it was kind of like confirmation, like this is it right here, boy. Like this, this is what it is right here. Okay. Did you know at that moment it was going to be something you you wanted to do for the rest of your life? In the moment, yes. Before the moment. I was like, no. what am I doing? <laughs> you know? he, he was like you know, real quiet and sad. And, you know, he was just looking and laying low and just watching and everything. Because I had a few scenes. I had to film a few scenes before he did. Mm -hmm. So, you know, he's just watching and, you know, a, he was a great he was a great wing guy. Like behind the scenes, snapping <laughs> pictures for the kid and everything, <laughs> catching videos. And then it's funny when I watch some of them back and hearing his commentary, hearing him laugh and chuckle and be like, what the hell? Ooh, really? Like, so I know we have something great if if an actor that is in it is responding like this to yeah, it. But yeah. um, it, it, it's, it's as somebody that's that's been in the industry for a little while mm -hmm. and watching a newbie, it's, mm -hmm. it's a great feeling to, to, 
to watch him in that moment and live in that moment and experience that moment through green eyes. It was great. Carpe diem. It, you know? it, it was <laughs> Carpe hey, diem, It was it was it was great. That's crazy. Well, when is this? When is the movie slated to drop? Is this coming out seventeen as well? Summer. Summer. This summer as well. We're gonna you have, have a um, big, a big summer. We have. We're gonna have a red carpet here and a red carpet in D.C. So we're super excited about that as well. What I definitely <laughs> want to know is. <laughs> <laughs> is this gonna make y'all awkward, bro? I see y'all little chemistry and y'all little, you know, y'all y'all connection. <laughs> bro, you ever tried to holler at her? Oh my god, really? Has, she, has she ever tried to holler at you? Is what I really want to uh, ask. You know what? I'm, uh, she like, this, she like this, chocolate, this, bro. She this, like this, chocolate. This, this, this is my 100 moment. This okay. Is my 100 moment. The first time I, I met her, we were at. We were at a we were at a, a pop up lounge here. I, I don't want to plug my name for that. Please don't. No yeah, please don't. So, um, you know, I saw. I was like, ooh, okay. You know, so I started. You know, my people's knew. It, you know, so one of my one of one of my one of my close partners. I was like, yo. Mm -hmm. the, the funny the funny thing is, she she blew me off heavy. So I'm looking like I'm a pretty fly dude, man. Like I, I don't really to get this okay. right now because I, I I wasn't used to it. The New York came you out. You know, saying I'm looking like yo, this is crazy, but um. You know, long story short, you know, it it, 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 it turned into a beautiful friendship. Um, um, it, it was definitely a connection that 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 was supposed to happen, and um, you know, we're here now. Look at God. He had some. <laughs> he had some deeper. He had some deeper for you. <laughs> Got you in some roles and everything. Yeah, man. See, that's that's yeah, great, man. man. That's great. That's great. Well, I appreciate y'all coming out to the to the Rising Ground Morning Show. Is there anything appreciate else, y'all? You know what I mean? Oh. Well, we have a lot going on. We have a Melissa and Razzie show Dope. that we do. I told y'all I seen it. I seen it. I seen it. I seen it first. <laughs> I seen it first when they hook up. I seen we it first. We have a Melissa and Razzie show where we're talking mm -hmm. about anything and everything, life, love, and everything in between. Okay. Um, so far we've had we have like eight shows out. We talk about situationships. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um. Valentine's Day just passed. We talked about that. Like I love Valentine's Day. He hates it. it. Every man hates Valentine's Day because um, we ain't getting that. We yeah. talk about commitment. Okay. How long? Yeah. When does a man know he's ready? How long should a woman wait? Um, see these. Some, see. We talked about a lot of things. Yeah. Um, we. I mean, it was. It's just. It's just a good show, man. I mean, we. We tackle, we tackle a lot of subjects, a lot of issues, and, and we don't hold back from it. And we don't always agree. No, not at all. Mm -mm. He at gets all. on my nerves sometimes. Yeah, we we didn't have some, <laughs> yeah, we, we didn't have some issues on that show. Um, uh, woo, yeah, <laughs> woo. Yeah, we didn't have some issues. On that show. Um, Tell but me. outside of that, we just didn't want our platform just to be, you know, just entertaining. Yeah. We also give back. So, um, on March the twenty sixth. Okay, we're, tra we're traveling to Cincinnati, Ohio. We're hosting the first annual funk benefit for Rosemary's Babies. Oh. It's a nonprofit for teen parents that helps um, give them resources, helps them with parenting, counseling, so and dope. just being, you know, because they're babies themselves. They're mm -hmm. babies that have had babies. Mm -hmm. um, so we're supporting giving back to them and then. Um, Rosemary and Raz came up with a um, a movement. I'll let you tell them about your movement that you come up. Yeah, with. so the so the movement um, with Rosemary's babies is that um, I'm not a baby daddy. I'm a father. True. So Love um, it. you know, because we have to, we have to some way we have to get that out of our vocab. True. You know, I mean, I, it's, it's it's horrible when I hear it. I have a daughter myself. I don't refer to my daughter's mother as my baby mother. I mean, yeah. it's, it's just crazy. That's my daughter's, that's that's her mother, yeah. you know? So um, we started that movement. Um, you know, we have um, t-shirts available. Um, you can go on Rosemary Babies. Is it? Um, dot co. Dot co. Um, you can go there to either purchase a shirt or either just make a donation, man, for, for a great cause, man. So um, def definitely be looking out for that, man. So it's gonna be a good movement. So we're excited about that. You know, get to raise some money and get on the mic and do yeah. our thing. I love y'all. I, I just love y'all. I love y'all. I just, I, you know what I'm saying? I just want y'all to like, just take your hand and put it over me right now and just look at them. Let's look at them. 
Go on their Instagram right now, follow them, and tell oh, yeah. them they need to jump together. Yeah, yeah. Give so, me your Instagram because okay. I want them to talk to so, y'all. I want them to talk to y'all. We have our we have separate ones, and then we have our one together. So my personal one is at I am Melissa Chambers, M E L I S S A C H A M B E R S, and then the one together that Raz and I have is Melissa and Razzy, M E L I S S A N, and then R A Z Z I E. And then um, you have mine. My Instagram is Razzy Odom. That's R A Z Z I E O D O M. And I'm, then we have Facebook too. Yeah, we got Facebook. <laughs> Plug them all. Plug them all. Melissa, Melissa got us everywhere, man. I, I can't even keep up. That's I how you gotta be, bro. Melissa, but I, you know, I'm, if, if it wasn't for her, man, I'm telling you, I don't know what, because I'm not good with it. At, at <laughs> all. At all. It, so at I, all. I, but I, I mean, but I guess that's the great thing about us, where one is strong. Those are my strengths, you know, being organized and yeah, and yeah, doing yeah, things, yeah. and then he has his strengths as well. So we balance each other. Sound like a couple to me. Beautiful scars <laughs> coming out this summer, yes. 2017. I thought you knew coming out this summer, 2017. Um, Melissa and Razzy is out now. It's out now. And no. then Rosemary. Rose all right, all right, all right, enough plugs. If they ain't on Live Hip Hop Daily, that's enough plugs. <laughs> yes, man. yes, Gwinnett, Live Hip Hop Daily. Yeah, Gwinnett Song, X Malone, Melissa Chambers, Razzy. Appreciate you, fam. I appreciate y'all so much for coming out. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for having yeah. us. Thank I you for giving it. us this platform. Absolutely. I bestow so many blessings upon you two, and I want an invitation to the wedding. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> the Rise and Grind Morning Show will be right back.